Here we go. Off to Elizabeth Town, Kentucky. We're just gonna check out a few things there. Haven't been there in a long time. So today is Friday. I'd like to say welcome everyone to my channel. My life, my travel. We're on the road again. This journey, I really want to hit Elizabethtown and do another video, so capture a few more things. So I'd like to say also, today's a holiday, brand new holiday at that. Juneteenth. So, thank you, Mr. President. Summertime, it's hot. I'll see how far I can make it if my plans go right. Film a little bit at the entrance of town. Then the lake. And last, um, right in the center of town, Cannonball Square, I think. So, here we go. Stay tuned. So we have just made it to uh, Freeman Lake. Warm as usual. <laughs> Why not? It's summertime. So I'm going uh, to do a little drone flying. Let me get the sun kind of out of my face here. So I'm going to fly a little drone. I'm going to fly the drone a little bit. Looks like a little construction here. Um, there's a few people here fishing and whatnot. So I'm gonna stay here for a while before traveling into the city. So let me flip the camera around so y'all can see what it looks like. So this is Freeman Lake. I just parked, so uh, got a little construction going on down here. Let me jump over this stuff. Put my bag down. picnic table I can eat later but let me walk around here for just a little bit so I'll set my bag there and this is uh, let me grab my microphone it's kind of windy so should have dug that out first 
bear with me a moment. Let me pause real quick. So now that we're rolling again, I hope the mic blocks out some of the wind because it's pretty windy. So I would take a walk down here to the lake and see a few people over there fishing. Well, a little fishing and laying out in the sun. So this is the lake. Little home and little improvements going on up there. So that's where I'm at right here. And they, the city or the state, whichever one, they stock this lake with fish. Lots of crappie. They're always announced. I've been fishing here once. I didn't catch a damn thing. So I guess I ain't that good. Ooh, looks like somebody threw some fish up on the bank or some carps. Dead fish. Or somebody caught some carp and threw them on the bank. That's a shame. Nice carp. Well, I ain't gonna show. I don't wanna show y'all no dead fish. But it is a little windy today down at the water the waves so just a little bit just a little windy crows are having a feast so I haven't really tried fishing out here much at all Maybe I should. I, got, I have the license for it. But it's getting to be too hot to go fishing anymore. So I'll just do traveling and videoing. <laughs> I tried to go fishing last Sunday, but that almost burned my brains out. There's a guy out there enjoying himself. See how close we can get to him. There he is. Ooh, very windy. Very, very windy. So we're going to go up, take a little break, eat some Popeyes before it gets cold, fly the drone around a bit, and then I'll go walk into the uh, city to Cannonball Square will be our next stop. I thought about walking around on the main road, but it's just a lot of construction there, and it's like, nah. It's not worth it. So let's go back up here. Let me switch. So we're gonna go back up. Have a little late lunch. Do a little more walking. Yes indeed, it's a little warm, but it's a nice day. Great breeze. So I got Popeyes chicken and I got my Saints hat on and I got Saints t-shirt stronger together. Yes world, we are all stronger together, not divided. So just uh I know my sweetheart to be jealous seeing me eat this here so I got me a Wendy some spicy chicken coleslaw 
and red beans and rice and a good old orange soda so take a pause for the cause I'll be right back bye now
Well, now we made it to um, the heart of Elizabeth Town. <clears throat> Down with a Cannonball Square. I think that's what it's called, but don't quote me on it. Hear the church bells here. Let me show everybody what it looks like. There we go. <clears throat> so I stopped here first to kind of park, show everyone around the Sicilian Bank. And that's where I'm parked. This also, by the way, is one of the parking lots they would hold at barbecues, blues, and bikes fest, which unfortunately they're not gonna have this year. I think not here. I heard it's gonna be in Hodgensville, which is a shame because that's a very good festival. This whole road here in front of me is all lined up with bikes from where it it would usually start down there where this street light is at. The whole road is blocked off from there all the way through to the center of town. And you can just walk down the street, drink beer, eat barbecue, and listen to some of the best music in the world. So I really hope that the microphone does well. So we're gonna walk down here. There's like a traffic circle that goes around the police station here, I think it is. This building coming up. I think people said it's a movie theater. Doesn't look like it's a... Uh... To me, it never looked like it was used very much. But it has opening times. So, I think it's one of the old theaters. So, we shall continue on. There's a museum. Oh, it is hot, people. Everybody's gonna think I'm crazy talking to myself. <laughs> so, in the light, it's green. It's still green. You can still make it. And we made it. Some nice old buildings down through here. But I have to admit, some of them look abandoned. And some of them are abandoned. So they're not all open. Whew. Now there's a building on the street corner, which is supposed to have a cannonball and embedded in the wall. But from what I read, the um, original building is not there anymore, but they built a replica of it. But the original cannonball is there that was placed back in the wall where it was originally shot at by the Confederate Army, I think. So this is the building. And it's supposed to be boy well, here let's take a look at this try for circle first cannonball yeah it's right up there we'll see if we can zoom into it first so where that arrow is pointing Do a little zoom in. 
that the cannonball that was placed back in the building. So now you see it. And for the history buffs, let me just focus this in. There's a screenshot of that. Zoom in on that down there. There's that for you who may want to read it. So, this is a little square here. As you can see, the traffic goes in a complete circle around this building here. Let me get over here where you can see it. This traffic goes all the way around this building. First time you drive here, it kind of throws you for a loop. But it's a nice little square right here. Very pretty, very pretty buildings. They want to make some money, put some bars around here. Make some money, get rid of that building and put a beer garden right there. That would be the best. But that's just one man's opinion. Keep going. And they have a lot of shops. And, and we're walking around this building as we keep going but during the bike festival this whole area is just jumping the city is alive i used to jump in the, in the taxi take my backpack and i have i have lunch and dinner here it's a great time. <laughs> Cause that's the one time of year you can walk down the street drinking beer and the cops just say, hey, get some more beer. They don't even mess with you. So, continuing this walk around this, this traffic circle that goes around the building. And um, I don't know if too much more over there. So we're just going to pretty much end it and walk back. Today is actually a holiday, but I think it all came late. Hey, there's watering hole. You can see that this place here right here I didn't see that but looks like a place to have a drink well they do have one place so that's it for now think I'm going to call it a day and we're gonna go on we're gonna go probably visit my old buddy JD have a cold one at Molino's so that being said 
take one more look at Cannonball Square. There's another view of the building with the cannonball. Sun may be too bright. Uh, I think it shows up. There it is. I think I need to make a picture of this. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah. So I'd just like to say I really thank everybody for watching my videos. Please, if you have any questions, comments, good and bad, all are welcome. Let me know what you want to see around here in Kentucky, and I'll go there and beyond too. So, from the bottom of my heart, thanks everybody. You're wonderful. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. I see I pick up a couple, seems like one or two almost every day. I am so grateful because I do this for fun and it keeps me in shape. So, thank you everybody. Please come back again. Bye now.